The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 260 pounds, the Superstar. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Oh, yeah, I like this guy. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 332 pounds, Dino Bravo! Everyone is booing this superstar, and for a good reason. But it's your hearing check, Saxon. All I'm hearing yeah, is boo Yaka. They clearly want Rey Mysterio to pass the torch to their new favorite competitor. Oh, please give me a break. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. It's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, from the middle rope, oh, a splash! Shoulders down, this could be it. A kick out, you can see the frustration starting to build. He's not even close to being done yet. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. He's got a kendo stick, a weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. Oh, brutal ball. To the cut. It truly cannot be stressed enough. Hell in a Cell is a match where you simply have to adapt to your environment as quickly as humanly possible. Or inhumanly possible, considering it's the demand. Good point, Corey. Trying to work the same match as you would any other night would simply be a fool's errand. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. Maybe that will shut him up. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.